it's you again. You know, I'm here at one of the many war memorials in Little Rock, thinking about the events of this week. As Sunday night, late in the evening, we heard that American forces, American men and women who fought long and hard, uh, discovered and killed Osama bin Laden. It, it made me stop and think about those soldiers that I have known who have given the ultimate sacrifice in our war against terrorism and that at least now there is a, a happy conclusion, uh, maybe some resolution to the fact that the mastermind of 9-11 is deceased and maybe we'll have some peace in our world. You know, America stands as a country which fights for freedom, which fights for our liberty, which fights for the rights guaranteed by our United States Constitution and our Bill of Rights, not only for us as Americans, but for peoples all around the world. And over the past few weeks and months, we've seen freedom breaking out in many countries throughout uh, North Africa, the Mideast, and others as, as people reach for that ultimate freedom that we call liberty. And yet here in Arkansas, and yet here in Arkansas, in the 25th state, we're ha having to fight for our freedoms, whether our government is going to close the, the live streaming of committee meetings in legislative sessions? Are they going to restrict freedom of speech and the people's right to know and have access to their government? What will occur in the coming weeks as our legislative districts are redrawn? Will they be drawn for uh, purely partisan purposes or will they be drawn to fairly represent the communities of interest around our state? You know, we're fighting in our legislature to reduce taxes. Uh, Republicans fought and conservatives fought to, to give us a sales tax holiday for school children and school parents next year and, and to reduce the sales tax on used cars. And we see conservatives in our National Congress fighting against spending and deficits that are being brought on by an overly oppressive and liberal government. You know, I have often learned and been told that liberty is the ultimate freedom. Liberty can be lost each time our government takes something away from us. But yet those things seem small today as we pause and think about the lives that have been lost and the great things that have occurred in the past few days as, as men of the Navy SEALs risk their lives to go in and to bring resolution to many people who lost loved ones on 9-11. Let's keep our freedoms in mind and let's keep liberty in mind and always be vigilant in the fight against aggressive, oppressive government. I'm Doyle Webb, Chairman of the Republican Party of Arkansas. Thank you for joining me today. Remember our website is ArkansasGOP.org. Come be our friend. Thank you.